What's going on everybody? This is Matt and Greg with Project Unbroken. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe button and share this video with anybody that you think it might help out. Today we wanted to talk about the difference between pills and heroin. There's a lot of talk out there about how similar the two are um, and we want to dive into the details a little bit. So uh, pills and heroin, very similar, but also very different. Um, they, they give you a very, the withdrawal is very similar, like the, the addiction to them is very similar, but when you're on them, I think the feeling's different, and I also think heroin is more dangerous. So pills for me always gave me a more synthetic high feeling. I felt the same feelings, but it was, it wasn't, there wasn't as much drowsiness, there wasn't as much body high for me, it just had a different synthetic feel to it. Whereas heroin, it was more gripping. Like it kind of gripped me immediately. Pills I was able to control while the heroin just like gripped me up like really strong. So it's weird. So even though it's the same type of feeling and it's the same, you know, it's both opiates, heroin had a diff totally different grip on me. Yeah, I, I have a tough time understanding what exactly that was. Yeah. Because, you know, if you watch some of our older videos, Greg and I talk a lot about how we got into our addiction um, and, you know, the path, which I think is very similar for a lot of people who are in similar circumstances, but the path from occasional pill use uh, to more aggressive pill use to heroin, and then it seems to spiral out of control for a lot of people. Um, because maybe for, I don't know, a couple of years, we seem to manage pill abuse somewhat control it somewhat control it at least where we still had like you know we owned a business we were employed we were still kind of you know checking off the boxes for being you know normal behaving members of society but then heroin, functioning addicts yeah we were very functional um heroin came along and it was almost like in three to four months everything fell apart yeah. like the, we the business went under, um, our friends started going to jail. It was just like really, it, it was like spiraled out of control. And I had a tough time like going through it. I was like, what the hell is going on? Like I was in court more, I was in prison more. It was just, it was just really reckless. And I, the, the change was more drastic than the drug itself made me feel. I, I didn't notice a big difference between the high necessarily yeah but something about the overall addiction to heroin was way more aggressive yeah again it, it is very very hard to explain the difference between the two but I would I, you definitely got to say heroin is more deadly and more dangerous because sure. I mean pills you have people manufacturing it you know the exact dose heroin you never know what's cut it with you got people shooting it up into their arms a lot, whole lot more often at least than pill you can shoot up pills but not many people do uh, with hair, when you people shooting it up, and again, you just never know where it's coming from or what it's cut with. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess I, I don't think there would. I don't think you, anybody's doing anything with pills as far as cutting them with fentanyl. No, like I'm right yeah, there. No. I mean, I mean, they come in whole forms. So no. exactly, you can't really mess with them that much. Um, the dangerous side of pills, though, is that they seem more accepted they're more accepted yeah. they're clean they're in your grandmother's medicine cabinet and eh, just gonna take a pill not a big deal right you know? that's the dangerous side of pills um, and you know maybe in the big picture pills are more deadly because of that because I don't I would have never started heroin without pills more deadly in different ways in different sure. ways like big picture I think because of pills more people overdose from heroin yeah, very true. Yeah, because that's one thing, big thing, that's a good point. That's one big thing you got to watch out for pills is it's almost like the alcohol thing. Like alcohol is so accepted, even even cigarettes. It's so, you know, it's legal, it's accepted, yet more people die from cigarettes than anything. And it's still legal, you know, and that really, I think if it was illegal, a lot less people would smoke cigarettes, I think. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Would, a lot more people would eat it wouldn't, alcohol. It wouldn't be worth the risk of getting arrested. Right. Like it's not... It's not that great. Yeah, so um, you got to be very, very careful of the different dangers between the two. And I think most people who get on heroin start on pills. I think 80% of people who use heroin have started yeah, on that's, pills. That's the statistic. And that's why it's such an overwhelming epidemic right now. 
there's a lot of people out there that are saying it's because of this or it's because of that. There's a lot of reasons that this epidemic is where it's at right now, but pills are absolutely number one. Yeah. I mean, that's how it's starting. That's how it started for us. And, you know, it started for us because we wanted to get high. And that's on the, the you know, on the opposite end of the spectrum than somebody who maybe gets a back surgery and they're prescribed these pills and they take them for 45 days. And then all of a sudden they're like, shit, I need another pill. And no one told them about it. I have people writing in all the time to us where they're like, yeah, I got a script for 30 days. No, I had no idea when I stopped taking them, I'd start feeling like this. No doctor ever gave them a war maybe a very quick warning of, you know, just gotta be careful with this. But no one's giving them any type of education when they give them these pills. They're on them for a month, two months, they come off, and these doctors don't know shit about how to get people off these pills, and then they're stuck. They're like, highly. Do I do? That's that's any. First of all, anything you do for 30 days in a row is going to turn into a habit. Mm -hmm. Let alone if it's ingesting a highly addictive substance. Like that is a recipe for disaster. And I really feel for those people because you know they probably would. They they weren't experimenting like we were. Right. And you know we were being stupid and kind of fell into something. Almost did it to ourselves. Yeah. We you know probably should have saw that coming. Um, but a lot of people who don't have any experience with it and they're, they're like, oh, my doctor said I need to take this twice a day for the next 30 days, you're going to find yourself with some issues on the other end of that 30 days that you might not be prepared for um, psychologically, physically. I mean, you know, you're going to be withdrawing and in your mind, you're like, well, maybe I'm still in pain. I should get another script. And just one thing leads to another and people find themselves in a pretty terrible situation. Yeah, so I mean, the big similarities between the two is they're extremely addictive, you know? Um, the big differences, I think, is, like Matt said, he made a great point, the pills are just sneakier. Like, people accept them more, and I can kind of play around with that and get high a little bit. But then the pills will slowly grip you, and it's easy to lead you to the heroin, which then just things kind of just spiral out of control. The thing is, like, well, now I'm on heroin, like, I might as well almost kind of go down the, the rabbit hole even more, you know? Yeah, and I mean, you know, depending on who you're talking to when you're looking for pills, even if it's, you know, because you're script right now and you need them for pain, it's not very hard for somebody to say like, hey, this is pretty much the same thing. Yeah. That, I mean, that's what we fell into. And yeah, in some ways it is pretty much the same thing, but in a lot of ways it's, it's absolutely not. Just to give you a heat of warning, the way I started heroin was I was out one night. I'd never had any plan to touch heroin, and I wanted to get high that night. And I wasn't necessarily uh, physically addicted to pills, I don't believe at the time either. I just kind of wanted to get high that night. I wanted to, you know, just, I was young and just wanted to go out and party. And I was with someone who had a little bit, and, you know, we couldn't get pills. And she was like, well, why don't you just, you know, do like half a bag? I was like, yeah, half a bag's not gonna hurt, right? So I was like, yeah, let's just do it this once, half a bag, and I'll be good, I'll go back to the pills. But that's where it all started. All, literally the next day it spiraled out of control because at that point it was like, well, I did it once, might as well just do it again. You know, I'll just do it one last time. So once you do it once, you're fucked. Like you're in that cycle. So yeah. don't ever trick yourself into thinking that. If you ever get to that point, think of what I just said, okay? You're not gonna do it just once, it's not gonna happen. No, that's exactly the truth. Um, yeah, I think that about covers it. I mean, it, you know, again, there's there's a big difference between if, if you're taking pills right now and you're thinking about using heroin because you're running out or whatever, just stop this whole cycle right now. Like, it will only get worse, I promise you. It's not the same thing, and it's not gonna, you know, be easier or more manageable by any means whatsoever. Um, if you guys <clears throat> need some advice or you have any questions about the, you know, even more in depth about the difference between pills and heroin or what withdrawal symptoms are like, check out some of our old videos or leave us a comment and, and let us know specific questions. We'd love to, to talk a little bit more about that kind of stuff. Yes sir, like, share, comment. See you guys soon. See ya.